so happy. I feel like I'm, I'm back at home. This, the desk, just like, oh, I missed it after five weeks, you know? It's just, it just feels like home. Uh, thank you so much, Arlene Pakulin and the Nighttime Band, as always. Fantastic. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a treat for you guys. We've got a little stand-up comedy, and it's going to be, I think, a little different than what we're used to. We're going to do a little character piece, and without further ado, the grandfather from The Princess Bride. Take it away. I'm going to read you a book. That's right, a book. It's the book my father read to me when I was sick, and I read it to your father. Now I'm going to read it to you. Because your father is addicted to gambling, and we haven't heard from him in six days. <laughs> All right, so here we go. There once was a beautiful girl named Buttercup. She lived on a farm with a farm boy named Wesley. She would say, Wesley, do this and do that. And all he would say is, as you wish. But what he really meant was, I... L I'm sorry, one second. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, I got a phone call. <laughs> one sec. Hello? Yes. Yes, honey, I'm just reading our grandson a story. Yeah, trying to instill proper moral values. Uh-huh. Yes, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Why? What? No, I went to the, <laughs> I went to the bank. I got the, I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. I went to the bank and I got the money. What are you talking about? No, I took the money out. I got a receipt. Yes. Why would I lie about obtaining a receipt? I'm so sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's great. Sounds good. Okay. I love you, hon. Okay. Okay. Where was I? So, there once was a beautiful girl named Buttercup. She lived on a farm with a farm boy named Wesley. Okay, she would tell Wesley, do this, do that. And all Wesley would say is, as you wish. But what he really meant was, I... L One second. Okay, I got another phone call. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hello? Yes, honey. Yes, I... Honey, what is it? Yes, uh, that they call you again. <laughs> what? I'm so sorry. Okay. Yes, honey, I know I'm going to get them the freaking money. I know they called you. They cut off his freaking hands, Ethel. They cut off his freaking hands. Okay, he owes 40 grand to the Ecuadorian mafia. I know. I know. Stop crying, baby. Stop crying. Okay, honey, stop it. Stop it. I love. After this, we're going to Niagara, okay? Just you and me. Yes, we're going to Niagara, I swear, baby. Okay. All right, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to finish the story, okay? All right. I am so sorry, all right? Where was I? Oh, yeah, true love. Okay. So, there once was a beautiful girl named Buttercup. She lived on a farm with, with a farm boy named Wesley. Okay, she would say, Wesley, do this, do that, and he would say, as you wish. But what he really meant was, I, l oh, sh one second, I got it, she got it. <laughs> yes, honey. Honey. Who is this? <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I will find you, and I will hurt you. Give me back my son. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was uh, the grandfather from the Princess Bride. Rodrigo, yeah, that was great. That's Rodrigo, great. Come join me over okay. here. That was awesome, dude. That was weird. Well I know. played, man. Thank it was you. It really good. Okay. Rodrigo Fernandez, oh. funny man, stand-up comic. This water? You can, of course, you can. That's great. Take a sip. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think anyone's drank out of that. So you're good in terms oh of. Oh my God! Yeah. So Rodrigo, how are you? Good. Or should I call you the the grandfather from the Princess Bride? Because that was. That was awesome. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Yeah, that's the thing I do sometimes at shows, and it's uh, it's a hit or miss. You know, sometimes yeah. people really like it because they've seen the movie The Princess Bride. Other times they just stare at me and then uh, give me the finger and then leave the show. Oh, my gosh. So, so where did you get that phone? <laughs> this phone? Where did you grab that phone? Uh, that's my dad's old phone. I taped up the antenna because all the rubber started chipping off. Yeah. But this is my dad's old phone from the early 90s. That this is, is one of those that is so brick old. phones. Yeah, you could kill a person with you one totally of these. You totally could. Yeah. Like, that is yeah. a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rodrigo, thank you so much for coming on the show. That was no like problem. That was really, really good. Um, 
On social, obviously, like social media is now a huge thing with comedians, you know, the and YouTube and the interwebs thing. and stuff. Where can people find you? Um, people can find me on Twitter. I'm at uh, Rodrigo F. Stoll if you want to just start following me for whatever creepy whatever, reason. Exactly, I guess. yeah. I started uh, following you. I'm on yeah. Instagram Oof. Uh, under Rod on the Internet. Amazing. And any upcoming events? Um, yeah, uh, on November 24th. <laughs> this is the reason why I came. Here we go. Uh, on November 24th at the Hard Rock Cafe at Young and Dundas, there's a show called the Movember Television and Film Showcase, uh, which is put together by the Actors Advantage Program. Um, really cool program. It, it uh, basically supports uh, helping actors trying to make it. Awesome. And uh, doing, uh, doing some stand-up there. I'm also doing November 26th at Comedy Bar, the Dan Gallio Awards, which yes. is... A, which is if you're a fan of comedy in Toronto, you want to go see this show. A bunch of the best comedians in the city are going to be part of this awesome. thing. Awesome. Well, and dude, uh, yeah. Rodrigo, thank you so much for coming on. I want to have you again because that was so good. Cool, right on. We're going to be back after a quick commercial break. Arlene Pakulam, take it away.